whole point. The reason I do this in the first place is because again, if you can bring out a hundred girls a weekend, I can do a Tuesday night fucking date and have drinks on a fuck. Like I remember there was a Wednesday night at two different, like it was 11 PM. I'm wrapping up the gym. I had no girls that night. Press Tinder boost, had a girl over for like 1130 Tinder boost, had a girl over at 2 AM. Fuck two bitches in one night. You know what I mean? So it's like, I can easily do that. I just think it's boring. You know what I mean? How many, ten, how many one-on-one dates can I go on from like fucking bored of my mind? It's the same shit every single time. I'd rather just do like club stuff, bring it home like three girls and have a threesome, whatever. You know, it's just, for me, it's more fun, more efficient, better for coaching, uh, better experience for the girls, right? It's all, pretty much automated because I don't have to, like, I don't have to talk to them. They just talk to each other. You know what I mean? It's great. When you when you have the table access, which is so fucking much harder. It's all just a perception. It's all Fugazi. It's not yeah. real. It's just a <laughs> fucking, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, there's like a rope. Can't go past <laughs> the rope. It's, you know, it's bullshit. But then the girls end up like trickling to the status. It, this is a new thing. It's like a new concept all over the world. Mm. It wasn't like this. Pre-COVID, it was starting to get like this, but this is tied to the cost of real estate, okay? Because I was figuring out why the fuck, like, culture has changed again over five years. Why is this happening? It's because the cost of everything's gone up, right? Clubs, before, what they do is they charge a $20 cover and then sell drinks to make money. But now that won't cover the rent. So now they have to sell, like, expensive bottles to hire clientele. That ends up becoming most of the revenue. So now what they do is they won't charge women club cover. A lot of the older clubs will do that, but the newer venues will not charge women club cover. will let women come for free, because now the women is the product, okay? And selling liquor to the highest spender is the source of revenue. Does that make sense? That's how it works. And so the women will just naturally trickle to that. It becomes like a status thing where it's like the top, you know, five to 10% of clientele are spending 80% of the money. It's called that Pareto principle, the 80 20 rule. Say it with me, the 80 20 rule. 80 20 rule. 80% of results come from 20% of your efforts. 20% of the guys at the club are spending 80% of the money. Make sense? 20% of the guys are fucking 80% of the women. This principle applies to everything. Okay? It's a law of nature. 20% of the guys in the club are spending 8% of the money. 8% of the girls are going to trickle towards 20% of those guys. Does that make sense? Right? So the boot stuff definitely plays into that. Okay? And so it's important to realize that. And later on, we're going to have the club access tables, all that shit. You're going to see it, right? And then you're going to be able to recreate very similar things. It's very important that you get those girls' contacts so later on you can, you know, make sure it falls in the same kind of principle your favorite now. You guys go through natural transformations, the hamster and occasion algae, right? We got Bubba there, right? The hamster, <laughs> right? If I take a cute little female hamster and I take the hamster, put it in, in a hamster fucking box, right? What is Bubba gonna do? They're gonna, they're gonna make little hamster babies, right? Cause simply ma like male hamster, female hamster. You are a guy. It is assumed. It is assumed you're talking to a girl that you know you're hitting on them. Right? You should see Matt's game. Matt's game is like some of the most beautiful, elegant shit you ever see. Cause he doesn't hit on them. He just walks up, he's like, hi, what's up, Matt? Nice to meet you. It's like just masculine as fuck, right? And then you want to hit on them? He'll be like, honestly, you're like my little sister. Honestly, you remind me of like my little sister. Honestly, we're gonna be best friends, high five. Right, cool. And then like, we're back at the, our place. He's like, they're just talk for an hour. He's like, you know what? Cause he will ask him like, oh, by the way, do you have a boyfriend? Like, no, okay, cool, yeah. Uh, and then like, after an hour of talking to her, it's like, you know what? I actually do like you, right? Almost like it's like an epiphany, like, like, you know what? I actually, I actually don't hate you. I actually like you. You know what? I think you are kind of attractive. He just say that once, and he was like, put his arm around her. That's it. And then like, boom, done. The girl's like, holy fuck. Not even just the longer, because you do this really well. You don't just put in a lot of time. But the longer you spend with her, without hitting on her, essentially. Yeah, cause, cause like Matt almost never hits on girls. It's fucking crazy. She's gonna. She's gonna. I'm, I'm still like masculine and like direct. In, in a subconscious way. Subcommunicating. Sub, sub yeah, yeah. Right? Like I was being physical there. But I think what fucked up is like, I'm giving that vibe that I'm not here just for sex. And then she walks in, uh, in that room, and she opens the, she was like playing with a fucking shark thing, and she opens the there. <laughs> so, so, uh, so Riley's taking my guest room, and the place is pimped out. It's like Versace painting, everything's gold. I have a gold Rolex box. You open that, condoms. Then I have this like um, whale pillow 
and then you open the zipper in it and there's condoms. <laughs> it's like, condoms everywhere. It's, it's hilarious. Gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. My name is Justin Mark, international dating coach, relationship expert, and VIP lifestyle development coach. I've been teaching dating, soul skills, and day game for 10 years in 50 plus countries, six continents, and thousands of guys in person just like you. And I love teaching guys this stuff. So if you like this video, please make sure to do me a favor and leave a thumbs up on this video. I really do appreciate that. Now, if you want to follow me more closely, you can go ahead and follow me on my new Instagram, Drunk Justin 2 and watch my daily Instagram stories where I'm always partnering with hot girls, doing exclusive events, crazy, crazy shit on my daily Instagram stories. Make sure to follow me there. You can see me traveling around the world in real time, doing amazing things and teaching guys like you in person every day on my Instagram. And you can message me on my Instagram as well. So go ahead and follow me on Instagram and message me there. And if you want to actually call me. You can call me at justinmark.com. We'll do free consultation calls. You can actually call me. And we'll do a free discovery call where we can get you on the right action plan to change your dating life and your social life at justinmark.com. And if you guys want to dig deeper and watch more of our more exclusive content, go to wingmanpodcast.com and watch our wingman podcast on Spotify, Apple, and all platforms. And we'll see you guys very soon in a new video. My name is Justin Mark, and I'll talk to you very soon. Peace out.